Hi friends, how are you? It's Maura Jacqueline. And Maura Paulette. Today we are going to do foundations with you. Um, we are going to start with our foundation cards and our foundation sounds. I am going to start with their sounds and you are going to echo after me. Remember that all of our pink cards and all of our vowels and we stretch all of our vowels and remember all of our yellow cards are just consonants and we just clip them or say them regularly. Okay, so Maura Jacqueline is going to start. You're just listening while she's doing it. And then once she holds up the card, you're going to echo the sound and the letter with me. Okay. A, apple, a. A, apple, a. B, bat, b. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. C, cat, k. Maura Paulette, look how you're clipping all of your sounds. Really mm -hmm. great job. D, dog, d. D dog d. E ed a. E ed a. F fun. F fun. G game g. G game g. H hat. H hat. I h. Also be for rose, mm -hmm. so R rose R R rose R S snakes S snake T tap T T tap T U up Ah U up Ah V then V V then V W wind W W wind W X fox X X fox X Y yellow Y Y yellow Y and our last letter of the alphabet Z zebra Z Z zebra Z Okay, thank you for echoing. That was a great job, everybody. We really know our letters so well and know our sounds so well. Right now, we are going to move into tapping either with our fingers or with our arm. So you do try one you feel comfortable with. Maura Jacqueline will use her fingers maybe and I'll do the arms so you could see it both ways. Just remember, just a reminder, when we tap with our fingers, our thumb and, and our, our pointer. pointer is the first sound. Our thumb and our middle, middle finger, finger is the second sound. And our thumb and our ring finger is the third sound. So, b, a. When you're doing it with your arms, if the first letter is on your shoulder, the second letter is on your elbow, and then the third letter is on your wrist. And don't forget that when you're blending all the sounds together, to go back up to your shoulder and slide down so you could start from the first letter and go to the middle and then go to the last. Okay, guys? So we're going to hold up a word now, and we want you to tap it out. When you think you can tap it out, you can put your thumb up so we know that you're ready. So I'm going to try to tap it out. Also. Also. We're going to try to do it quietly so we give everyone a chance. Okay, guys. I'm ready. Let's try. Okay. Ready? When mm. I point, you can use either your arms or your fingers. I'm going to use my fingers. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ah. 
Go to the beginning. Mat. Great job, guys. This wow. word says mat. Okay. Now we're going to switch the first letter. Oh. Hmm. So these are the same. Now we switch the first one. Okay, let's tell what about what it could be. Sure. Yeah, I'm not so okay. sure either. Do it in my head. Thumbs up if you think you got it. Let's give everyone a second. Yeah. You can use your fingers or your arms. Uh huh. Okay, let's try it all together, guys. Okay. K A T Cat. Cat. Ooh. Wow. Nice blending, guys. Marvel, what if we want to change the word now to bat? I wonder which letter we should switch. Mm. Guys, which letter do you think we need to switch? The first letter, the middle letter. The last letter. You want to change it to bat. So I'm going to try to like sound it out of my head. B. A. A t. B. A. T. So these sound like they're going to still be the same. A. T. But I think maybe. This maybe let's try let's switching the C. Let's see if that works. What should we switch the C to? Oh. A V. Let's try it out, guys. B. B. A. T. B. A. T. Great job. Oh, wow. It says bat. Amazing. Hmm, what if we want to switch the word bat to the word bag? Hmm. What do you guys think? B A G. Oh, we. So, B, this is the same. A, that sounds that right. The same. G. Oh, G. No, it's what makes it, it makes G. it. G. G. Bag. G. Mm. Maybe G game G. Let's try Bag. it G. Let's try to tap it. See if you're right. B. A. A G. Bag. bag. Oh, great job. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like bag. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Now we're going to switch a different letter. What if we want to switch this word to the word bug? B, a, g, b, a, g. So, which letter do you guys think we need to switch? Is it a consonant or a vowel? B, a, g. So this sound is b. An a usually makes an a. An a and a uh sound a little different. So maybe. So maybe should we take that out one maybe out? Maybe it's the vowel this time. We haven't switched the so vowel. So now, yet. what makes B, a, g. So what should go here? Mix that ah uh, sound. Well, we know it's a vowel because we need a vowel in every word. Okay. It wasn't an A. We just took the A out. Uh, uh, up. Ah. Uh, oh, which one is up? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I think it's a. It's a U, right, guys? Let's try. Is it? It's not an O. So let's try an O. You think Should we try an O? Yeah, we can try an O. Okay. I don't let's know. See. I'm getting a little confused. It's okay. We can try it out. Okay. okay. What sound does an O make, guys? O, octopus, I. Ah. Okay. So, B, A, G, bog. bog. Oh, that doesn't really sound like bog. Does bog sound like bog? Mm. Okay, let's no. Try okay. Shoot. Let's, maybe okay. we're right. Maybe let's try. It's okay. Ew. We're all learning, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay to make mistakes. So let's try this one. B, A, G, bug. Oh, I think that. Sounds I think that. Better. I think that. Yeah, I think that that sounds like bug. Okay. This is the last one we're gonna do with our cards, guys. I think everyone should be able to do it. I want to switch the word bug to mug. Mug. Hmm. So the first sound is m, a, g. So I hear something different in the beginning now. So let's try taking maybe which 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 one should we switch, guys? Mm. Mm. Does m mm sound like b? Maybe the maybe the maybe beginning. The first one. Maybe the first sound. Okay. okay. Let's try. Oh, you think it's an M? Let's I think try. it's an M. Should let's we try, try it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Get your pointers ready. Mm. Mm. A -g -mug. Mug. Oh. Perfect. Oh, I think we got it. I think we had a lot of practice. Amazing. Okay, guys. Great job sounding out your letters and your words. So now, we are going 
to take our whiteboard now. If you're at home, and maybe you have your own whiteboard. It doesn't really even need to white be a whiteboard. Use a paper, a paper and a, a pencil, pencil, a marker, crayon, whatever you have at home. Whatever you want to write with. So take a minute. Get your materials. Get something out. You can even pause the video as you've got something out. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Yep. So now, guys, we're gonna continue spelling some words but now we're on the cards we were reading them now we're going to try to write them ourselves okay i'm interested how do we do that more paula so the first word that i want to try to write on our own papers or our own boards is the word map map so we're going to give you a minute thinking map so try to tap it out first on your fingers or your arm. I think I'm gonna do it with my arm right now. Okay, I'm gonna okay. do it with my fingers. Mm -hmm. Ah, ma. Okay, so we got the sounds. Now let's go one by one, maybe. So we said the first sound is mm. What letter makes a m mm sound? Mm -hmm. M. So I'm gonna go from my plain line down to my grass line, back up, make a hump, go back up and make a hump. Mm. Now our second sound is m mm, ah. My middle finger is saying an ah sound. Ah sounds like apple. A right. Okay. Again, I'm remembering to make my a between my plain line and my grass line. Mm, mm. Ah. ah. My ring finger is saying p, so that's the last sound. P p. P, pen, P. So we're going to make a lowercase p. This lowercase letter, where does it go all the way down to? The worm, the worm line. line. We make a loop from the plain line to the grass line. M, A, P, map. Great job, guys. So now, let's not erase this. Oh, no? No, maybe we could switch it to another word. So another guys, word. what if we wanted to change this word to mat? Mat. Mat. I think we actually did that with our cards. So some of you might remember. We did it with our cards when we were practicing to read. Mat. Mm -hmm. At. What makes a t sound? So I think we're going to switch our... It sounds like to me like it's going to be the last yeah, sound in the so. word. So let's erase it. T -t -t. What makes a t sound? I'm thinking. Oh, my once, thumbs up. Once it. you get it, you can write it down on your own paper. Okay, if you got it. it. Yeah, maybe write it. So guys, if you're doing it with a marker or a crayon or something and you can't erase it, that's okay. You can just write it on the next line maybe, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I got it. What do you guys think? You ready? I think I got it too. Should I, should I reveal it? Okay, let's turn it do around. Do you want to see? <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh, it was a letter T. Matt. Great job, guys. What if we want to switch this word to... Oh, should we do something a little hard now? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. Okay, let's try. Let's try to switch maybe two sounds. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go one but we're gonna do it one letter by a time. Okay? okay. What if I wanna switch the word mat to nap? Nap. Okay, let's go one letter at a time because it could be a little scary. So I think I'm just gonna start over. Okay, start over. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Okay. N -a -p. N so let's do our. Okay. Do it with your fingers or your hands. N -a -p. Okay. So the first sound between your pointer and your thumb. N. What makes a N mm. sound? N. Okay. Take a lowercase n. She starts at the plain line, goes to the grass line, and makes a hump. Great. 
Let's do it again. N -a. Oh, my second sound is an a. So it's a vowel. What vowel makes an a sound? Sometimes vowels can be tricky, but I think this one, mm -hmm. a apple, a. It sounds right. Again, from the plain line to the grass line. N a p. p, p. My last sound. What do you guys think? If you know, you can write it in. We're gonna give everyone another minute. Amora Jacqueline writes what she thinks. Hmm. You guys ready? What do you guys think it is? Let's see. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if you're right. N a p. Now blend it. Na. Great job, that says nap. Awesome. Okay, so now you can erase this whole word or either go on the next line, which you can leave it or you can erase it. If you're doing it on a whiteboard, you can erase it. And we have two more words we're gonna tap out. You guys are getting really good at this. The next word we're gonna tap out is the word mud. Mud. Mm -hmm. Mud. Are you guys ready? We're gonna do it all together. Mm. Men. Okay. M. I think I know, yep. Let's see what our vowel is gonna be. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, sometimes this one can be tricky. Is it like. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, up. Uh. Up. So, you up, ah. Uh. Mud. D. 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 Mm -hmm. You think you know it? I might. Okay. But I always have trouble with this one. I know. The bellies confuse me. The belly go one, one, one way. Does it go the other way? The B's and D's are really tricky for me. Let's try our best. Okay. And we'll see. So I know that this is a skyline letter. Guys, what letter is this? Looks like a, it looks like a B. Let's try to tap it out and see if it makes sense. We're trying to write the word mud. M, a, b. Oh, so maybe mub. Maybe the belly goes the other way. Let's try the other way and see. Okay. It's just, it's very hard, these two letters. It takes a lot of practice. So I do, th I think the belly should go this way, facing them. M a d mud. Great. Mud. Okay. I think I got it. Awesome. Now for our last one. Okay. Should we let you guys see if maybe you could do this one yourselves? Ooh. We're going to review it after. But let's see if you guys can do it by yourselves. So either erase your whiteboard. I'm erasing my whiteboard. Or you can go to the next line on your paper. And we're going to try to write the word sat. Sat. So first, you're going to try to tap out all the sounds one by one. Trying to get the sounds. And now, once you think you tapped it out, one by one, you're going to write the letters down. So, I think I'm going to okay. do that. And you're going to do the first sound? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm going to do it like this and then we'll oh, okay, great idea. reveal it. You guys are doing it on your own papers. We're doing the first sound. Okay, did you get the first sound? I got the first sound. Okay, now the second sound. We're doing the word sat. Okay, now the third sound. Right? You're going to try and get. Okay. Put your fingers up, your thumbs up if you think you're ready. Okay. You ready? Let's see. Oh, friends, let's see. Okay, let's try. We're going to try to tap out more Jacqueline's word and see if it's correct. S-a-t. Sat. Oh, we got it. Okay. Great job. Thank you. Okay, guys. So that was Foundations for today. 
we hope you're practicing your writing and we hope that maybe if you're making pictures at home, you're labeling your writing and always try to sound out your words. Also in your packet, mm -hmm. there's a booklet um, with foundation lines that really look like this, the bottom three. So you can practice um, writing using those foundation lines. Um, thank you for joining us. There's going to be another foundation video tomorrow and throughout the week there's going to be foundation videos updated each day. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you. Keep practicing and keep practicing your trick words and your Dakota balls. You guys did a great job. Great job. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.